I'm out here checking out sourwood. Hello everybody. I thought I'd come out and check this tree and see which one is a sourwood. So I went in and looked on the internet to find out what looked like what. This is what I determined was a sourwood. I've got several of these trees around, which is a good thing because my bee yard's right over on yonder. There's other trees here that look very similar. I think this is probably an elm here. But it's got little jagged edges on it. This is relatively smooth. And the little lines in here are wider than the, this whatever is. I think this is elm, like I said. But it's not got these little edges on it like that. It's more smooth. And the branches are a little are opposite, but they're just a little different. The, the leaf comes off with a shorter, at least this one. Oh, I need to get this picture of this bug too. You also have some red maple right here by it. Like that. So, this is whatever. This is sour wood. This is red maple. There's quite a bit of difference. And I think there's another tree in here that's very similar too. I can't see where it's at now. Oh, this one over here. This one here kind of looks like sour wood, and it may be, but it's a little different coloration. Now, there are some little buds coming up on this. I doubt that you can see them in my video, but it's time to recognize what these trees look like. And you probably should go out and find some of them right now if you want to get the sourwood honey. Because you need to go out there and look and see what the tree is and then watch for the blooms to come out. It's um, in my area, early July, is what I'm told. July 1 to 8, somewhere in there. But you really need to hit that timing right by looking at the flowers and see where, how they're progressing. And you get those supers on right at the right time. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching. I'm going to try to get some of the flowers on pretty soon. Thank you. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.